Welcome to this short video uh, on setting up a limit order in Classic Trader Workstation. A limit order is an order to buy or sell at a specified price or better. If a limit order is filled, it will be at the limit or at a more favorable price, but the limit order does not guarantee a fill. What I'm going to set up, I'm going to set up two orders. Uh, one to close out or to set up an order to sell out of uh, an existing position in ticker XLF. You can see on the screen I have uh, an open position of 400 shares. I want to set a limit order to sell those uh, at $24.70, so above the current trading price. And I'll also set one up to buy uh, shares in XLE, currently trading at $73.95. Uh, and I, I'm going to set up an order to pay below the market at uh, $73.90. So here we go. Um, you can see the open positions. You can see uh, the current trading price. In order to sell, I'm going to click on the bid column. And you can see the quantity column here. If I click in the quantity, um, I can pick any desired number. I can overtype in that uh, quantity field or in this case I want to select the position of 400 shares and the the then I want to set up um, a limit you can see here from this drop-down um, order type uh, menu that I can select from a whole host the default here is LNT that's the one I need uh, and after that I can then uh, choose my limit price and I think I said 2470 so I'm just going to scroll up there you can see the bid and the ask are currently shown and uh, as such because it's a penny wide there is no midpoint I'm going to select 2470 so now I've created an order a resting order above I'm ready to transmit that order to the market uh, above the current trading price uh, and that will stay in force as long as I desire in this case I need to look at the time in force box I'm going to go with a day order uh, if I left this uh, in GTC or good tool cancelled, um, this order would remain in force tomorrow or until filled or until I cancelled it. I'm going to go with the day order. I'm just going to uh, hope that we get filled before the close of business today. And I'm going to click transmit. That order is now working. You'll see that the status bar has turned green and uh, I'm ready to select uh, my next order. And I want to buy um, maybe uh, 500 shares in ticker symbol XLE. So uh, I'm just going to select the appropriate amount, 500 shares, and I'm going to do that at 73.90. So I'm going to select below the market. Uh, again, I'm already at the limit uh, order type. I don't need to do anything with that. You can see that we're set to buy. And my time in force this time, I'm going to put this in as a good to cancelled order. Um, so currently below the market. And in fact, it's fast becoming uh, a market order almost. I'm going to click transmit, and there we have set up two orders, both limits. One is a uh, a day order uh, to sell an open position of 400 shares in XLF, uh, currently above the market. And now my or my good to cancelled order to buy XLE, uh, 500 shares, um, is now very close to the market. Um, currently trading at $73.92. You can see my bid of $73.90. Uh, left as goods or cancelled. Both are out there on the market, ready to execute should the prices uh, agree with me. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this uh, uh, IB short video. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more. Thanks.